all to be touched. We have to take the vision, the business, and the dragon. She's in better health than you and I. And they're pretty close with their mother in law, aren't you? Oh, yeah. More than with your ex. Oh, yeah. Oh, most definitely. But she's got some strong genes, too, doesn't she, Bob? Yeah. It's so nice to hear people say, it's so nice to hear people say Merry Christmas without getting offended or worried. Yeah. Now it's not politically correct to say Merry Christmas. I don't know. A lot of people don't. Or big companies, you're not supposed to say Merry Christmas. You're supposed to say Happy Holidays or Season's Greetings or something. And I guess it's to respect you know, people that don't celebrate the, the holiday season. But I think, like for example, my nephew is Jehovah's Witness. And I don't, I don't think he gets offended when people say Merry Christmas because he knows, you know, it's the holiday season and a lot of... Their mind. I know when I have my birthday, they'll come to my birthday party. Really? Oh, yeah. Because it's not them celebrating their birthday, they're a friend and they're there for me. For support. And then he says, oh, please. <laughs> yes, but don't you feel chic, Barbara? Oh, nothing. Don't you feel Chanel? Oh, Chanel. Chanel number four. Do you have a nice bottle of Chanel number five, Barbara? You know, it doesn't smell good on me. Really? I have to I agree. To it do doesn't it. smell good on me either. It does smell good on me. Well, Antonio says he can spend a whole year on this topic. On which one? Uh, about, uh, oh, do you say Merry Christmas or no? Oh. Antonio. Oh. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy yeah, New Year. Right. All day and all night. But I know people that are not Christian or don't believe in, um, uh, like for example, Jesus Christ, and they still celebrate Christmas because it means different things to different people. Because I know Jewish people celebrate Christmas. I just got a, a Merry Christmas card from my accountant who is Jewish. Yeah. Yeah, my, my attorney. Yes, they send you Merry Christmas cards and they're of the Jewish faith, so Mazel Tov. Yeah, yeah, Nikki, you're right, it does. It is crazy how it's going to smell different on you, you know. On uh, uh, everybody, yeah. and that's the body yeah. composition. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, you know. There are perfumes that smell all day on some people, and then you climb on yourself and crickets. And that's everybody's pH, uh, pH balance. Uh, C-R-A-R-A. Who makes it? It does. It's not made it. Oh. And then, so they stopped making that. So then, they would give us a restaurant. What house is that from? I don't know. Revlon Speaking of Revlon, do you remember a perfume from the 70s called Jean 2? Yes. By Revlon? No, I don't remember it. I bought her a bottle. But you can still find it. You can still find it? Yes, ma'am. Where did you find it? Amazon of all places. Let's go ahead and bake this for one minute inside the Barbie Darling lamp. So I got my mom a bottle of Jean too. Oh my gosh. Uh huh. She used to wear it when she was younger. 
I guess it was really famous. Yeah, it was. It was very good. All young women used to wear gel too. It was really, really popular. Really? What did it, um, what did Jean Tu mean in French? Yeah, I think it's someone's name, it's a girl's name, right? Jean Tu. You didn't like how it smelled on you? Really? Halston, did you use her Halston? That was another big one back in the day. But now I wear, um, I wear Paris, but you still have. Ooh. If you can't buy it in the store, I have to order it for the first time. Oh, really? Have you ever heard of a perfume called Baccarat Rouge? Yeah. Kind of nice. I like butter smells and gel that you are using. Just go on enocouture.com. The red door. Uh, what am I saying? The red door and taboo. I used to wear taboo. I remember that now one. That, that, you like okay. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. 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 Charlie, wasn't it Charlie Blue or something? Or Charlie Red? Charlie is, um, uh, I'm gonna take the pink oh, really? hair a bit. I, I really what about white shoulders? I remember white shoulders. Oh, I remember that. Okay, what are you doing, huh? We're blending in the cuticle with the pink hair a bit. Yeah. Shalimar. Oh, yeah, Shalimar. That was a big. That was a working woman's perfume, Shalimar. Yeah. Oh, that's my, that's for my brother, but that one for me is that's a little strong. Bijan, do you remember Bijan? Oh yeah. The one that looked like a donut. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. You remember Stetson? English leather. Yeah. Brute. Canoe, canoe. Canoe. <laughs> Remember? No, that was a commercial. No, what was that one? Oh, that canoe. Did it smell nice? Oh, so. Or did it smell of the time? I don't know. I was thinking my daughter wears man's body spray. It says Marie. If you want a cheap body spray that doesn't smell bad, actually Ariana Grande is a dupe for, um, uh, Baccarat Rouge. Really? Mm-hmm. Of course, the body spray has a ton more alcohol than, you know, Baccarat Rouge. Right. That's, you know, $400 a bottle probably, but it's a good alternative. Oh. But my favorite perfume is by a brand called Brito, which is from Sweden, mm -hmm. and it's called 1996. Really? Mm-hmm. I love that perfume. And uh, I was reading the review on it, and someone said, I imagine this is what King Henry VIII smelled like. She, was kind of, she said it smelled like an old book. I don't think it smells like an old book. I think it smells like a rich old white name. Oh yeah, explanation. I remember that. Magic. <laughs> we are blending in the cuticle using the laser bits make sure that there's no product stuck to the skin and get it really tight around the cuticle. Ooh, that's so long. 
We're getting it super right up there. But you know, they weren't in such bad shape for how long was it, Barbara? Eight, six weeks, seven weeks? Eight. Eight. A long, too long. But it was funny because Barbara and I still talk on the phone every once in a while in time. So I'll call her up and Barbara, did you see the news? Oh no. And she goes, honey. <laughs> This sister's packing heat. <laughs> what kind of heat do you carry, Barbara? The hottest kind. Hottest. Yeah. Maybe some. That sounds familiar. Brute. Oh, well, Brute, yeah, but there was something else. Um, gosh. I don't know. I never did, but I can remember. You're like, they buy me perfume. <laughs> For like Valentine's Day or something? Almost a scream, man. Rich woman. Yeah, it costs a little more. Beautiful. So let's move the dials. And then I'm going to go in with nail prep. I'm going to do a little coat at the cuticle area because that will help blend and melt the cuticle area. And a little bit on the nail bed because remember we cannot buff top surface of the black or white French nails or the ombre nails because remember that it's hand painted so if you take it off we're not doing it so we want to take it on nicely for the duration of the filet. And then Barbara really liked the stickers that we used yesterday but she does not like letters. She doesn't want words on her nails. She doesn't yeah, want to read a story. So we'll add some flowers and some outlines from the stickers that we dropped yesterday because remember you guys yesterday we dropped over 20 stickers officially bringing our sticker number yeah to over 400 stickers now. So we're gonna add this one is number three. We have to balance it because the nails are short, so you don't want to over oversaturate. No, you don't. You want to keep it nice and balanced. Some sparkle, sparkle.
Are you excited to go see Lori Barber? <laughs> you gonna give her a piece of your mind? I don't know this man. I don't mind. You can still give her your opinion about her. Concealer never hurts anybody, exactly. doesn't it? That's what I was thinking. I said, honey, please, you do not have to have the dark stuff. Because she was like, oh, you know, I, I had to cut my hair during quarantine because of hygiene. Because I'm, I'm a woman, she was like. But, you know. Did she say that? Yeah, because she closed down beauty salons, but she got a haircut, so people were calling her out on it. And she was like, well, I'm a woman. And it's hygiene. to do anything. No, nothing. Is that fairly recent? Uh, it's been for My cousin went to New York not that long ago and she, she did, she, she did some stuff, but she's vaccinated, but she was in another country. So I don't know what vaccine they used on her. I'm looking for my gold sequence. Ooh, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Now you're talking about it. And you guys always know Barbara, her tradition, she's brought me some delicious Barbara Brown peanut butter. It's all boosted, so she's backed up and boosted. That's what I'm talking about. I'm boosted. Oh, aren't these beautiful? So we're gonna use it to accent around the nail. Oh, yeah. And because Barbara likes her nose with a little bit of volume, I'm going to do two coats of Wonder Gel today. So the first yes. coat of Wonder Gel will be to encapsulate everything, and the second one to seal. So yes. let me see. Add the bling, bling, bling. I love the flowers. Aren't they chic? Yeah. I love flowers. Flowers. And you don't want the nails matte, right, Barbara? No, no. Barbara doesn't want them matte. Are you going to go to the Big B anytime soon, Barbara? You know, I, you know I was there. Mm -hmm. um, to go visit your uh, father-in-law. Yeah, my father-in-law had a show. And uh, I actually had a good time. I was, you know, I hadn't been to Baltimore in years. Wow. <laughs> so it was really nice. And I stayed at the... Uh, Four seasons. Mm -hmm. They have the best bed in the world. I'm telling you guys, they have the best bed in the world. Aren't staycations like fun? <laughs> Do you like staycations? I think here in Tucson, we don't see that many people doing them, but I think in bigger cities, you do probably still get to see more people do that, or you know, you have more fancy hotels. And you stay there for the weekend. Yeah. Like staying at the Waldorf Astoria, Four Seasons. The Omni Resorts. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add some of the 24K, the glitter. I'm going to add just a few sequences just to dress her up a little bit more. Hey, Selinda, she said the nails look pretty. Isn't she chic? Mm -hmm. Isn't she fresh? Excited. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think about... Really? By who? Oh. 
Anybody? I think every once in a while you do get someone that doesn't do uh, Christmas music, uh -huh. and then they get, they have a hit, but that's because that song was written for them, uh -huh. so they can sing it. Yeah. But like you said, not everybody's meant to sing. You know, the same same songs that we all caroling. Barbara is serving Chanel Chicago realness. Yeah. She's not serving Michigan Avenue, she's serving Madison Avenue with these nails, honey. That's our track right there, Barbara. Yeah. Do you want to talk about Oh, that's terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> it's very sad. It was a, um, uh, what's Heist. it called? Yeah, it was, um, uh, Louis Vuitton. I saw one, they were trying to break into this lady's jewelry store, and she did the right thing. She she took her store and she threw it at him. Go ahead and put it in. What did she do? She took her stool, not her stool, like, like her poop, she took the stool that she was sitting on and she threw it at him. But it's getting really bad in California for that. How scary. And I saw the interview this morning, or yesterday, about the daughter of the owner of the Asian run family uh, jewelry store. And she said, you know, we can't take a loss like, you know, a big, you know, jeweler. They didn't catch the people either, but at least they got a good scare. Aren't they nice? So we're going to do our second coat of Wonder Gel, and we're going to seal everything in. So that way it will stay nice and shiny and glossy for the duration of the trip to Chicago. Mickey says <laughs> you heard about people staring more because they can get away with it. Yeah, and in San Francisco, uh, Walden's close to like 45 stores. I was really mad. I was really mad. If they close them because of the theft of some of the stuff. You could steal up to $950 and nothing's going to happen. There's lots of ways. No, I think they, they decriminalized or they, they, they didn't make a felony. I don't know. Legislation about that. In California? Yes. In San Francisco specifically. Oh, in the city of San Francisco. Mm. I didn't know that. But I heard also they want to ban uh, plastic drinks. Oh, yeah. And then it's like, what are you going to put in it? Because if you make it out of like paper, isn't that better for the environment too? Because then we're cutting down trees. Oh, well, our prayers and thoughts to you, love. Yeah. And hopefully you have a speedy and safe recovery. Right. I can be with someone who's seen from the box from the porch, and a guy came out with a machine gun, the driver drove off, and the guy saved it. <laughs> Turn upside down. You know, it, a lot of people make fun of these, the, the, the heist. But can you imagine the people that are there in that situation? I know. Or if it's a small business, how uh, crippling it could be to, to them. So I don't take those kinds of things seriously. I take those kinds of things very seriously. Because I was a victim of robbery. I had an employee that she stole about $5,000 of merchandise over the time she was here. And it was not that long ago. And that's when we implemented um, no bags. So people that work here are not allowed to bring bags into the, to the, to the factory. 
Huh? Well, when they come in, they, they don't, they're not allowed to bring in any bags. Our cameras. And that's just for loss prevention. <laughs> and if you do bring a bag, it has to be transparent. Yeah. You know, they do that at, at, at a lot of stadiums. So elegant. This is a nice alternative to the design that we did yesterday. It was longer and super um, fancy. This was quick too. Mm -hmm. I love it. Easy breezy beautiful. Enalcatour.com. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I don't think that I wonder if they still even use that uh, slogan. Beautiful. Well, unfortunately, we didn't reach 100 views for a giveaway, but we did get pretty close. Don't forget, you guys, we still have the Christmas promo code sale going on right now, which is Xmas15. Again, the promo code is XMAS15. And snatch it up, you guys. You can replicate this design using the Black Me French and the gold glitter and everything. And I want to wish you guys a happy holiday season. I hope you guys stay safe, stay out of trouble. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Bye, everybody. Bye.